One of the issues I perhaps didn't cover uh, in my earlier questions and answers was um, how are we as members of parliament likely to hold the government to account? Uh, that's both government backbenchers, as I am, and I'm also on the Transport Select Committee and also the 1922 Executive, but also opposition MPs, etc. Well, I'm luckily one of the ones who got elected to a Select Committee. I'm on the Transport Select Committee, which means I'm, along with some of the other Conservative backbenchers who are interested in transport, I also sit as a member along with opposition MPs, so uh, with the Scottish MP and a number of Labour MPs. And last Tuesday we had a virtual Transport Select Committee meeting. We uh, interviewed and asked questions of the Transport Secretary, Secretary of State, uh, Grant Shapps, asked him various questions about whether it's road, rail, um, freight on both road and rail, future plans, what things have been put in place already, obviously with the uh, emerging details of the virus and how that can impact all our lives uh, and dealing with obviously vital provisions etc and delivery drivers um, not just of um, big freight lorries but also obviously locally um, also raised I raised personally the um, cost of fuel both for agricultural uh, workers and concerns obviously Lincolnshire but also across the, the nation um, those who work on farms need to obviously carry on working and put the seeds in the ground if we're to have a harvest later on this year and so uh, there was various um, questions asked of, of Grant Shapps I think we'll probably be speaking to him again um, perhaps tomorrow I think um, we're a week on and that will carry on through this process uh, lots of my colleagues were also raising in the chamber just before recess uh, if written questions um, could still be submitted and the leader of the house Jacob E. Smog answered them and that's um, available for everybody to look up on Hansard and obviously, as time goes forward, we're due to um, to return from recess in the third week in April. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, there's been no um, change to that. It might well be that we um, only return for a short while, depending obviously on the circumstances nationally. But it's, um, it's a moving feast at this point in time. And um, I would fully expect us to return uh, in the third week of April. But it could be that um, we don't return for too long before we go back on recess and carry on as best we can, uh, utilising video conferencing, um, conference calls, um, and there's various different apps that people are using, whether that's WhatsApp, Skype, Zoom, all the various different aspects that um, uh, people can utilise and have been utilising in the business world for many years to ensure that as far as we can, the business of Parliament can continue uh, until we've obviously got through this, which we obviously all hope is sooner rather than later. Thanks very much. Bye.